Hello Virgo, this is your Mercury in Retrograde reading. I'm going to put the dates of when it's going to occur, but it's in March 20, it starts March 22nd. But I'll put in the description when all this occurs so you know what, what the timing is. But this is a time when things get a little backwards and a little crazy and communications break down, traveling uh, plans fail, uh, contracts don't go through or they do go through and they don't last relationships come back or they fail or new ones begin the problem is with mercury and retrogrades a lot of it doesn't last it's kind of like almost an illusion but it's also a time where you can like tie you know go back to old ties and or people that you used to communicate with and maybe get some closure or reestablish at least communications I know as crazy as it sounds but that's why they, I call it ass backwards time I'm going to do the energies coming towards you during this time. Mercury in retrograde, Virgo, March 2018. Virgo, March 2018, Mercury in retrograde. Virgo, March 2018, Mercury in retrograde. And uh, some people affects more than others. Some people don't get affected by it at all. But a lot of people do, and you'll see it happen to people around you for sure. You know, they'll say, my car broke down, pick me up, or this person broke up, and you'll get a phone call from someone you haven't heard in years. Things are going to be moving awful fast. I don't know if you can see this. I'm using a new camera. Still getting a glare. But it's a chariot. So things, and it's in the upright with me. So it's, things are going to be moving kind of quick in some areas. I hope I get this camera to work right. If not, I'll squeeze it all in there as best I can. Okay, someone definitely may be coming back, or there's some movement at the end here, but let's get this going, because things are going to be moving pretty quick for you during Mercury and Retrograde, just because of that. But in the past, coming up to Mercury and Retrograde, you had the Queen of Disc, and that could be your own energy. She's in reverse, but also could be a, a, maybe a Capricorn or a Taurus, but it could be your own energy turned around, but... I'm reading these as energies coming towards you. So let's see. Queen of Disc, why are you there? Reversed in the past. Why are you there in reverse in the past? Maybe you didn't have a victory of some sort. In the past, you didn't have a victory in something. Doesn't tell me much. No celebration here. What is that? What is the um, Six of Wands reverse? Why is it there with the Queen of Disc reverse? Could be over third party situations. So it's about someone in the past that you may have a relationship with that you didn't have a victory with. Or you had a relationship with it failed and you didn't have a victory with. Now, the obstacle during this time is basic success. You may not feel like you're having it, or something may come towards you that is not successful. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe you were working towards something. Let's find out. Why is success reversed in, as the obstacle for Virgo? We've uh, got the Four of Swords. <clears throat> and it's in reverse. Excuse me, I've been coughing all morning. It's in re reverse, so it's. It, I'm, I'm assuming that you were trying for something. You didn't want to just, you know, not move forward and, and take a break from it. You were trying to aim for something. And that's the obstacle at this time. Now, something is coming in towards the end here. Something good, because you got the three of wands at the very end. But something uh, occurs that doesn't come in exactly the way you want to. It could be someone from the past. And I'm thinking someone from the past could come back and, and cause an argument because you got the Five of Swords as the current environment at that time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five of Swords. Why are you there at the current environment? And be careful. You don't have to take that in, that energy in. You can refuse that energy. It's not a major arcana. So the Five of Swords, it's coming your way, though. So it's up to you how you handle it. Five of Swords, why are you there? 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 Yeah, because the collaboration wasn't occurring. 
it, again, it got three and three, so it could be, like I said, a third-party situation, a romantic relationship, or even a business one, because you got the three of pentacles there, and it's going to lead up to an argument. So if this is not what you want, don't give in to it, <clears throat> if you can. <clears throat> now you got the Prince of Swords as the overall energy, which is influencing all of this. And um, he's in reverse. She, he. And it's basically air energy, or they have the uh, element of the air with them. And that could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or it could be just someone that has that type of characteristics. And they're in reverse, so I'm, I'm assuming this is this person is one that's causing a lot of the stuff or feeling like, you know, like they're angry at something, like maybe something happened. And you may not, you may refuse their cup. They may try to offer you something, but they're still not happy and they're not acting right in your eyes. They're not acting right in your eyes because it's coming towards you. And you may not want to offer that cup or vice versa. Because, you know, these energies can be mixed up. It can be the partner here. But, I'm, uh, you know, or you, and I'm just considering it as you, the, the uh, outside influence is coming in. But someone's going to turn down the offer, whatever is going on right here with the argument. And as a result, you get the Three of Wands, which is a positive card. So why is the Three of Wands there? Why is the Three of Wands at the end of Virgo's uh, situation here, if Mercury in retrograde should prove interesting. Because you're putting something to rest. You're not wanting to resurrect a negative situation. So I see it as... I don't think you're wanting to resurrect this situation, but you may bring in something else. Because with the Three of Wands, it could be like a, a few things. It could be something coming in that you like. That you've been waiting for it could be movement or you know or like I said actually moving but you got the death reversed and when death is reversed it means something didn't end or or that you have refused to resurrect something so with the three of wands attached I'm, I'm assuming that it could either be with mercury and retrograde no, known for things to come back that something that you thought was dead may come back in and it could be on a positive sense or that you see something coming back and life is good and you're going to refuse to resurrect it possibly you said it was dead and it's trying to come back and you may refuse it because this is a positive card you're looking forward you're looking for something good to come in one more card though for that for sure we do know there was a third-party situation in the past. It didn't work out. Somebody's upset. There are fights coming in. You're not going to have success during this time with this person because Mercury in retrograde really messes up communication. So this is, you know, common during this time. And like I said, you can refuse it. But the Three of Wands, why are you there? I need one more card for that. I need one more card for the Three of Wands. Why are you there? Because you're having balance in your life. This is the Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to um, deal with this situation. You don't, uh, I'm, the way I'm feeling that death card is that you just don't want to go back to the same old uh, situation that you that may have died in the past. And you're, you're, you're seeing that as it trying to come back, but you're looking for the positives. And you got that Ten of Pentacles coming in. So you got something good coming in. You got... Uh, uh, really positive influences at the end here, and you're not going to put up with any negativity. It's all good, no bad. So that's your that's going to be your thoughts. And yeah, here you go. This is a Seven of Pentacles. This is someone looking towards working and working their life out and getting things together. So that is your reading, Virgo. And it's a good one. It's a good one. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.